Hello, this is Dr. Dan. In this video, we are going to discuss Chromebox Alpha. First off, Chromebox Alpha is used to look for internal consistency among the, the items or questions in a measure. So, for instance, if your measure is, let's say you're evaluating burnout and you have three factors in burnout and you want to look at the internal consistency of the items that are uh, being asked about emotional exhaustion. Well, you would take all of those items or questions and, and slide them on over and you would look to see for the Chromebox Alpha score to see if those are consistently measuring, in that case, emotional exhaustion. So what we're going to do here is we have, a uh, using Jamovi, we're looking at data for a study that we conducted on intersectional discrimination. And so why don't we go ahead and look at the first factor, which is anticipated. So that's what we have here. You want to make sure that you label each one of the items appropriately so you know which ones are associated with in, which in, individual factor. What we'll do is we'll press factor, reliability analysis, and in this case, all these INDI-A, we're going to slide on over. So question one, two, and we'll go all the way. There's eight questions that are associated with that factor. On the right over here, we can very quickly see that the Chromebox Alpha is 0 0.720. 0 0.7 is considered an acceptable number. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, getting up there is, is uh, def definitely gets higher and higher. You have more internal consistency. Now, a very good feature is pressing Chromebox Alpha if item is dropped. What that is telling us is that if you drop one of these items, then your Chromebox Alpha score is going to be higher. So in this case, as I mentioned in a previous video, I had reverse scored something uh, intentionally to show you what happens. So in this case, it shouldn't have been, right? So what it's telling us here is that if you remove this one item, then your Chromebox Alpha score will go to 0.879. So as an example, I'll remove that one, and you can see here, 0.879 is our new Chromebox Alpha score. Now, ideally, uh, for a measure, it's been well established. You're not going to be removing any of those items for a published measure. You're going to keep them all, but at least you're going to be able to see for your study what the Chromebox Alpha score was. In this case, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, another feature of that, which is this Chromebox Alpha if the item was dropped out, what the new score would be. Uh, that's very useful, for instance, if you're creating your own measure. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very good feature to evaluate, again, the internal consistency of your items.